yo what is up everyone and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to review the data scientist with our track from data camp which means in this track we're going to learn data science and every other skill in the in the data science and we're also going to learn it using the r language so basically this uh, review is going to be two section one for the data science courses and sections which are in the tracks and the R topics that which were covered in this track. So let's start our video. Okay, so in this track, this track should explain these topics according to my experience if this track is going to teach me data science and r so this track should cover these topics first of all since it's in r then i should get at least three or four r courses which explain the r language for me which is like a fundamental course in r so it should give me an introduction to r course an intermediate to r course and an advance to our course. Basically, it's going to be like the basics, data types, and vert uh, um, uh, functions, vertices, and, and stuff like this. So uh, these are, I, as I call them, the R uh, course or R courses. Since this track is going to teach me data science in R, the first thing it should do that it give me an introductory courses in R, and then a little bit deep dive into the data science using R. So it should give it, most of the data science uh, boot camps and tracks they give crash courses in R. But since I'm gonna be learning the entire data science, he should give me at least a detailed R courses. For example, introduction to R, intermediate to R, and then let's say uh, data analysis in R or EDA in R, exploratory data analysis, and then uh, give me data visualization. I mean, Matplotlib and Seaborn and Bouquet these are for Python, but ggplot2 is for R. So it should explain ggplot2 package for me. And then it should start uh, with data manipulation, you know, like tidyverse and stuff like this, and uh, deployer, you know, this type of, uh, we have deployer and we have tidyverse. These are packages are used uh, in data science in R, and ggplot is for uh, visualization. So basically it should give me an introductory to R courses and then transition, give me a little bit about how to analyze the data and EDA using statistics in R, and then uh, it should fade or move down to manipulating data in R using these packages, Tidyverse and Diplier. And then since I'm learning data science and we have something called math and statistics, it at least should give me some statistics in R, linear algebra in R, calculus in R, probability in R, or basically math courses in R. It should give me math courses in R. And since data science is about machine learning here, we have something called machine, where is machine learning? Yeah, here. Then it should give me some supervised learning, machine learning algorithms in R, like uh, let's say classification in R, uh, decision tree in R, logistic regression in R, uh, linear regression in R, and it should give me unsupervised learning in R, you know, like clustering in R, and uh, k-means and stuff like this. And then since it's data science, at least give me projects or Kegel competitions, I mean, it's going to be either uh, Kegel competitions or projects since that come is its own platform I they have their own projects and I did uh, review the projects uh, section from that uh, make sure to check it out on my channel and since it's data science it should give me at least an introduction to deep learning if it was in R it would be perfect and explain something called NLP and big data. NLP natural language processing, which is basically manipulating the text data and big data. These are like advanced topics. I will, I will call these an advanced topics. And A for advanced. For me, if I'm learning data science in R, these are the topics that should be covered. As I said, either calculate competitions or projects. I think it's going to be projects because every course is going to give you uh, an assignment or project and they also have their own section which is called projects which is basically just go there and you filter let's say R and in th there uh, you, you're going to you're going to see the uh, whatever I'm saying in in the project section when you go to the website and I did explain this uh, in my uh, uh, whole video on my YouTube channel which is review for project section but it's basically you go to the project section 
and then you filter it let's say you want the project to be in R language and it should be in data manipulation and then they show you all the projects which is in this field so these are the topics that should be covered if I am learning data science in R now I mean I'm pretty sure you know why you want to become a data scientist so you already covered that area I mean uh, in this video I should cover that why you should learn it in R and why you should learn data science since you're already in this video so you, you should know the advantages and, and, and why you are learning data science in this era but right now I want to tell you that why you should learn it in R I mean I do I do love Python but I started learning R now because right now if you check the job description you should know both Python and R previously like seven years ago it was either Python or R now they say Python and R and there are two other uh, uh, languages which are Scala and Dusk these are uh, kind of like not mandatory uh, optional but these and Python and R they became I mean not all of the jobs but according to what I've seen and on LinkedIn uh, now it's preferred uh, if you know Python and R it will make you stand from other the other people in the crowd for example if you are good in the statistics it will make you stand out uh, if you did projects both in this language it's gonna make you stand out so plus I mean even if you're not a programmer Python and R they're both very very easy languages if you learn Python you're gonna end up learning R in, in simple way they're both simple but remember Python is fully functional uh, or object-oriented programming language while R is a statistical language so right now we're going to talk that why you should learn R the reason I also l started to learn R I mean, after I finished my masters most of the courses that I took in my masters were statistics and R survey analysis and R R in research you know so basically I found out uh, that most of the researchers that uh, I was uh, studying with them uh, they use R because R is a statistical language and most of the academic people they love R why you should learn R first of all it's an open source just like Python you don't need to buy anything they have large use of community I mean they keep adding packages and improving things and it's a big community and now in deep learning they're giving it really big community and they it's used for latest uh, tec edge technologies like uh, machine learning deep learning and so on uh, and it's independent platform they have R studio just like we have in Python Anaconda uh, learning R is gonna give you uh, like a boost in a lucrative career rather it was as an academic or in a machine learning or data science or even if you are a statistician and even I started to see some of the my students they are in total quality management TQM and they started to take Six Sigma certification and usually usually in Six Sigma books and courses they teach a software called mini tab which is kind of like equivalent to SPSS which was kind of like the standard for any academic people I started to see that people are now learning R only because they can do more stuff with R than in Minitab and SPSS. There are Minitab and SPSS, they're big softwares, but R is an open source. I mean, like, R is like, they, they, they call R is Excel on steroids. So basically, you can do anything in R. The, one of the best things about, uh, I like about R, they have amazing visualization libraries like ggplot2 and, and, and other uh, packages, uh, and it's amazing. It looks nice. And it's a go to language for statistics and data science. Now, if you go to any course uh, on uh, course era edx uh, these type of platforms uh, the usually gonna you're gonna end, uh, end up finding uh, statistics in r courses it used to be a statistics in excel with excel but now it's becoming an r why because r is a statistical language and it's used in almost in every industry rather it was your academic you're working in companies or working in manufacturing companies uh, retail companies whatever you call it it's used because it's an open source you and know, have it independent platform and it's, it's amazing I really like R now here I just mentioned everything that I just explained if you want to become a researcher or an academic you should learn R want to become data scientist and data analyst you should learn R you can do it in Python also 
but R is a statistical language. Most of the academic, they what? They like R. They know R. So if you want to become an academic, you're basically going to end up doing some joint research. So, uh, I mean, if that guy uh, is uh, uh, R user and you're a Python user, so you, if you, you know R is going to help you a lot. Uh, six Sigma practitioners, I started to see some Six Sigma, six sigma practitioners, they are started to learn R. Uh, R is used in every, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, section, sorry, what was R used in, in biology, genetics, uh, majors, majors, sorry, I forgot the word, oh my god. Okay, and also make you, help you make decision based on the data after you analyze the data. And as I said, it has a robust visualization library. You'll see it when you play with it. And it's basically the same thing I just told you. Uh, now let's go on data camp and see if what if these skills, these skills the same thing that I just explained to you, which are uh, I mean if it's data science and R then it should give me an introduction to R, intermediate course to R, advanced course to R, statistics or probability in R, you know, analyzing the data using R, manipulating data using deployer in R, visualization, creating dashboards and basic charts in R. So we should know that if these, these, all these sub skills or skills which are can help you become data scientist if these are covered just like we said okay so let's go to the data cam website and see it by ourselves let's all right so here we are on the website of data camp and here we can see that we are at the data scientist with our track which means i'm going to learn data science but in a language r so here I can see that there is a track update available. Let's just click here and see what the new track look like. Okay, okay, you enrolled in an old version of this track. What is new? We have removed one course from this track and replaced it with four new courses. That's nice. Uh, reporting with R markdown, I like that. Introduction to statistics in R, that's really nice regression in r and intermediate regression Th oh, that's that's amazing okay so let's just click switch to new version and now we are on the latest version great you switch to the okay all right all right so let's let's see what type of courses now just like i told you in the slides that since i'm learning data science in r the first thing i should uh learn in this track is little bit about uh, R which is introduction to R course intermediate to R course and maybe advanced in R and then I should uh, learn the packages which are used in data science like deployer uh, carrot and tidyverse and ggplot2 just like we have pandas and matplotlib uh, and numpy and, pa and python these are the packages that we use in data science in R and then I start learning uh, some uh, how to manipulate data in R, basically just like in Pandas. So how do I uh, find the missing values, manipulate data, data wrangling, um, uh, dealing with missing values, uh, statistics in R, and then regression, correlation, clustering, uh, unsuper unsupervised learning, and supervised learning in R. Uh, and some projects. So let's just go step by step. The first thing we have is introduction to R and then intermediate to R, which means these are the two basic courses in R, which is nice. I mean, it's, if I'm going to teach you that science in R, the first thing I should do is give you an introductory course to an R and, and a little bit advanced course in R so you can know the fundamentals of R. And then we have something called skill assessment. That's the thing that I like about the skill assessment that uh, once you learn a couple of stuff uh, before you move to this course number three they check your skill if you are good then move on if you're not good or you're performing really bad you have to go back and learn it again and do the project and, uh, and do the projects here or there is some called assessments click here and you can just go and do the assessment more and more and uh, once you feel you're ready then jump in 
it's not like you finish this one and then you immediately jump here no do the skill assessment it's, it's very useful it will, it will actually uh, test you if you are prepared for the, the upcoming and advanced courses or not because these are all sequel to each other you cannot take this one unless you take this one I mean you, you can't just click on it and learn but you, it, you have to click you have to take the introduction to R, then you have to take the intermediate even if you click on intermediate it will tell you the prerequisites for this course is uh, introduction to R here see so you have to go according to the steps here okay and then we have tidyverse okay which is a which is a package in, in R uh, data manipulation in deployer that's nice joining data in deployer which are like advanced deployer courses and just click here okay we have a skill assessment that's gonna test your skill in manipulating data with R see you take two courses whatever you learn here in these two courses you're going to assess your skill in this uh, skill assessment and then you go to the data visualization uh, intermediate and introduction that's nice Repo arc markdown is something really nice I really like it and then importing data and R still and we're dealing with data and R intermediate importing data and R which is an advanced course okay and then again we have skill assessment for cleaning the data and importing Ad uh, cleaning data in R there are a lot of cleaning data in R courses here working with time series that's really nice writing functions and eda and r i like that it's a really nice course I, I took this course let me just show you it really kind of like uh, you learn uh, a little bit of statistics and and, and r here to measure variability and and stuff i like li i really like this course how to draw box plot and, and stuff so it's really nice i like it i took this course that's my certificate yeah November 1 so here we have a case study which is you take the EDA course you take the case study and then introduction to statistics and R introduction to now now we're in the in the math section here after we dealt with the fundamental of R courses and a lot of courses in manipulating data and now we are in EDA you see EDA is kind of like the 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 beginning of an statistics after you finish that you immediately jump into the statistics so i like the sequel how they are going and the introduction to regression and an entire course for regression an entire course for advanced regression i mean linear regression and logistic regression and then it starts with supervised learning i think there's unsupervised learning too yeah unsupervised learning so there are two courses in supervised learning one is uh, for the classification and another one is in regression which is really nice because instead of putting these two in one course they divided it so it means four hour four hour for each uh, section and then we have unsupervised learning here's going to learn clustering anomaly anomaly detection dimension reduction and then we have cluster analysis and there is no deep learning in R and no big data in R and no NLP in R uh, I mean they should have but let's just click here and see if there is a deep learning in R there is no there is no deep learning in R deep learning Machine learning with carrot there is an R, but there is no deep learning. Yeah, it's all in Python. But there is network analysis in R. Yeah, I know that because I took this course. It's a really nice course. They, they have two courses in network analysis. Uh, and there are a lot of R courses. I mean, you can go just go to the courses, the, the courses section. Here you can see the every, all the courses that they have uh, right now in the platform. You click on the filter. And then you tell him that I want only the R courses. Here you can see all the R courses. You can, you can find many, many R courses here, which was in, in the data uh, scientists with R um, track. You have finance in R. You have marketing in R, dealing with marketing. You have geospatial data with R. So you can just go and after you finish the data uh, scientists with R track, you can go and take the, these courses separately. There is also a linear algebra in R. Uh, let me just click here uh, yeah here linear yeah linear algebra and R they should have added this thing in uh, data scientists with R track I think this one is included in the machine learning that will make sense let me just click on it and see mm, no is it no it's not it's not included in the machine learning in R. You will see that in the machine learning in R section. So this was the review.
I mean, it's still good platform, a lot of fundamental courses. You can also take the advanced courses separately from the courses filtering uh, in Datacamp. I would highly recommend you guys start learning from Datacamp because most of the people when they start learning, they were like, okay, what should I do that next? What should I take? after this course in in this track you just you have everything laid down step by step with the skill assessment and the projects you can go to the projects and tell him that i want all the projects in r you just click here in the filter project and tell him i want all the projects in r and now you can see that these are the projects you can do with the notebook available with the video sometimes if it was unguided you see this is guided you said this is guided and this is unguided and unguided there there is a, an entire video that explained and uh, the project with you and you have the data and you have the notebook you just go and follow along with that with the, with the person who's teaching it so after you finish the data science track you can just come jump into the project and start doing the project and just download the notebook that you did and you just put it in the github and you're good to go so uh, make sure to use the link in the description below you, ca you can you can there's a big chance you will get a discount i would highly recommend you you can just go and uh, subscribe for free but only the first chapters in the courses will be available for you in order for you to uh, enroll in the projects and skill assessment and everything here you need to subscribe in and to, uh, subscribe to the premium uh, 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 subscription uh, I would highly recommend you go to the uh, annual one because it's much cheaper and these tracks will take you some time to finish uh, take your time just uh, don't don't be uh, in a hurry okay uh, so thank you so much uh, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.